the Grays. Oh. Good morning. How's it going? Good. It's good morning time. I have I have I have a complaint to lodge. Please lodge it. Um there's a dog sitting on my chair for you. Go. Go. I have complaints to lodge. You have sabotaged so many surprises. No. Not true. Not not the most recent surprise. You were too giddy. Let's go back to 2009. 10. Yes. I put in all this work to surprise you. Mm-hmm. Even before I started, you said, by, by the way, this is what kind of ring I want, if you were to propose. That's not sabotaging a surprise. It's just letting you know if you're gonna surprise me, this is the kind of thing I like. That's not how surprises work. You don't get to preempt a surprise with. I said that, by the way, months before you were gonna propose. I shouldn't have. So then I, <laughs> then I do it, and then you're, I do all this stuff to try to mislead you in the moment and pretend I got you a cat instead. And I was Which poking. was very confusing. I didn't know what you were pretend. Like, it was a, like, it's well, like. Well, that's on, the point. You know on TV when they're drinking out of their empty coffee cups? That's what your box looked like. It was like a clearly empty box that you were poking holes in. And, but it's okay. It was cute. Well, also, you weren't meant to see the box. I was in your car with you, wasn't I? No, I wasn't. No, I was in my car. I had poked holes in the box before I got out. And then I told you to close your eyes before I brought it out. When did you even see the box? I guess when you brought it out and it looked empty. I don't remember. This was... uh 2009. I, I brought... Welcome to listen, I, I, I brought the box out while your eyes were closed. I bet you peaked. Probably. So, you ruined that surprise thoroughly. No. I I, I, I did switch a roux and, and had the ring, whatever, okay? Thoroughly ruined. That's whatever. No comment. Now, I say, you know what? We don't take many vacations just for us. They're always family related or wedding related or funeral related. Let's take a vacation. We've neither of us have been to California. I said, you know what? Go to California. I was buying flights. I didn't ask nothing. I was going to take care of everything. And then I didn't ruin the surprise. And then I just suggested that. We would be going somewhere. No, and you told me that we would be going on a trip, but you weren't going to, you bought the tickets already. You weren't going to tell me where or when. And then you were all giddy, making plans on your computer directly next to me this whole time. I, I told you I wasn't going to ruin the surprise. I told you to take any of your emails off my phone so nothing came through to me. Any text messages. And then you could not help yourself. No, and and then, you leaned at over. At o'clock at night, sitting in bed next to you, I turned and leaned to talk to you and you had a map open, no, which you, I only saw for a second. I didn't see where it was. You did not and lean. And then you gave up. You did not lean. <laughs> You did not lean over to talk to me. You leaned over to see w no, my screen. You were done. You had you. Well, then why did you want to see my screen? I just leaned over. Your screen was on your lap. Why do you lean over to talk to me? You can turn to talk to me. You leaned over so I asked to see. So what did you see? I saw a map that had water on it somewhere. Water. Okay. Water and that narrows in the United States. And that narrows it right down, doesn't it? No, because I couldn't tell if it was the ocean or a lake. I didn't know how zoomed in you were on the map. Also, when you're trying to surprise someone, you run that risk when you're planning it directly next to them and actively talking about all the things you're planning without while trying to be secretive. Oh, I'm not going to tell you. Oh, this is going to be so great. Oh, I don't know. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Don't look. But ooh, ooh. this is why I got a king size bed. All right, there was a rift between us of at least three feet. 
you had to put effort in. That's why I had to lean over to talk to you because you were so far away. See, uh, that's, so you saw the water and now that narrows it right down because I already told you the only thing I had told you. you told me, and then no, you, no, no. And then you told me we were going to go to Florida and I believed you. And that's then you said, actually, no, it's not Florida. So you're forgetting. So the only thing I told you was that it's, we're going somewhere we've never been before, mm-hmm. which means we weren't going to Florida. So then you saw the water. No, so no, no, no. We've been to everywhere on the East Coast. So you uh, stole a glance, thefted a glance. You pilfered a glance at the coastline. And now you knew basically where we were going. And I tried to lie and say Florida to save it, but I already ruined that by saying it's somewhere we've never been. I was really looking forward to being surprised and I really appreciated it. And I did not want to see ahead of time because I was very excited. You leaned your whole. I knew. I knew once I knew I would be more involved in the planning process than I. I liked. also knew that I was trying to save and you I that. Want to be but involved. all you had to do was control your torso. But you couldn't just say it was after I saw the water that you said it was Florida, and I said, "Oh, but you said it was somewhere we'd never been." But I believed you. You could have just left me with your Ruined. trickery. Ruined. 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 Well, cancel it. Cancel it. We're not going on a trip. Grays canceled. The Grays. You say it. The Grays. <laughs>